Okay, this is my second attempt of making a video. Um, so happy Sunday. I yesterday went to Alt Sephora and I purchased the Anastasia Beverly Hills Times Amrazi highlighter. I love the packaging, it's like so pretty packaging. Um, this was like $28, so it was really expensive, but you get a lot of product. It looks gold, very gold, but it's not because I'm wearing it on my face now. You can't tell in this light what it really looks like. But it's a, like a gorgeous color. It's not too dark, not too orange. It has like no orangeness on it, which is good because a lot of um, highlighters make my skin look orange. This does not. It's not very intense, which is good. I feel like this is comparable to the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Because it's like a nice, it's a nice, um, champagne color. They're both are. Um, I feel like this one does not, would not break if it fell. And the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop fell, can break easily, and that's, a big negative for me um for this one it's very heavy but I do like it so far I think it stays on my face the whole day I don't think it looks cakey at all because a lot of powder highlighters do get cakey if you don't use concealer and I'm not wearing concealer on today And I do love it. On my eyes, I'm wearing the Nirvana, Anastasia Beverly Hills Nirvana, my favorite highlighter palette, not highlighter palette, eyeshadow palette, like, ever. That and the Kat Von D one are, like, my favorite. Um, this is my favorite, like, a lipstick, the NARS. Velvet Lip Glide in Roseland. I guess I haven't updated y'all, you guys on my blush because I purchased the Sephora Color for Matte Shimon You like two weeks ago. I don't remember, maybe three weeks ago, something like that. And it's like my favorite blush of all time. It's a very natural, gorgeous color. Um, I love it. I think these two things are like my favorite from Sephora. Um, I also, this is not like a purchase because I got this for free. For a sample, I use up my points at Sephora. So this is the Benefit Hula I have it in my cheeks now because I'm super pale. I have snow white skin and I use this today. Very pretty. I love it. Um, this is what I have in my eyes. The NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner, my favorite. Literally, it's my favorite of all time. And you get it for $10, which is great. And I would recommend this Morphe brush, although the bristles are falling off. But I do love this one. 
think it's like my favorite Morphe brush of all time. So you use this with blush, bronzer, and I use it for highlight. I don't like to use a lot of brushes. I think using a lot of brushes just makes it look cakier for me. And I don't like to use a lot of brushes. I only use two brushes because I just think it you have a natural look if you use two brushes, frankly honest with you, and I just don't like to use a lot of brushes. There was a brush that comes with this that I purchased. I didn't like the brush, and it's a four hour brush. I didn't care for it. I don't like it. So, yeah. Um, and this is what I use for my eyeshadow. The Eight Cosmetics one. And that's what I have my face today. Stay tuned for tomorrow's Get Ready With Me New Year's Eve look. Um, I do it every single year and I just love making these vid those videos. I was going to include a S Alta haul too. Maybe I am in this video also. Um, but I bought the mini version of the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle highlighter um because i went to an alta store and it was, it was only 16 dollars i hate it because it does not show up in my skin it like barely notice no, anyone barely notices it and i like a good highlighter where you can notice it because that's what like a highlighter is is you have to notice it um this does nothing in my skin. You have to like blend it out so many times and that's just not worth it to blend it out. Um, if you have a little darker skin tone than me, I would recommend this one because I think it could be gorgeous, but I didn't like it at all. Luckily I got the mini version and not the bigger ver version because if I bought the bigger version, I would be disappointed, and I just didn't like this at all. And I've been wearing this for, I, I wore this for a week, and yeah. I would not recommend this one at all to anyone, but... Maybe if you're a beginner, maybe you might like it, but, or you, if you want, or if you have darker skin tone than me, it will pop, but, I just didn't do anything for me. And I love the Benefit Hula bronzer. I think it's a really gorgeous, cool tone bronzer it does not make my skin look orange which is a plus because a lot of bronzers do and this does not and I really like this one bronzer that is it for this video I hope you guys have a great one I'll talk to you guys really soon bye